Hello, I'm Mr. Klingler, and today we're going to talk about reducing resistors. The goal is to reduce a group of resistors to a single equivalent resistance. Therefore, once you know R total, it'll allow you to find I total. I total is helpful for resolving the components of a circuit. There are two caveats when using this method. First, it's not very helpful if you have a multiple battery system. So, for instance, a battery with a resistor and then another battery. Furthermore, there are simply some arrangements of resistors where you cannot reduce through this method. For both of these cases, you'll have to use a more robust method, such as Kirchhoff's laws. The method for this is fairly simple. What you do is you first look at your circuit, you look at the most nested or complex part, and try to see if some of it is hooked in series or in parallel. You then use that series or parallel part and reduce it to a new, smaller resistor. You then redraw the circuit with that new resistor, and you repeat these steps again and again until such time as there's only one resistor left. Let's see how it works. Imagine I have the following circuit. Looking at this circuit, I'm trying to figure out where I can reduce. Well, these two, they're not quite in series, they're not quite in parallel. Oh wait, these three. Notice that these three are in a line. Four, three, two, they're in series. I know what the equivalent resistance for that is. So let's redraw. Four plus three plus two is nine. Notice these three resistors became that resistor. All right, I'm not down to one resistor, so I repeat my method. Here, I see that these two are in parallel. I know how to reduce resistors in parallel, so let's draw an equivalent circuit. One over eighteen plus one over nine, one over that, about six. These two resistors have become that. Finally, four and six are in series. I can reduce those resistors. The total resistance for this circuit is 10 ohms. Notice that I alternated going parallel, series, parallel. You'll find that you often do these sorts of things. So these three were in series, these two were in parallel, and then these two were in series again. Once I know R total, once again what I can do is I can try to find I total, and that will allow me to start solving the circuit. Let's look at another example. All right, let's try reducing this. I look for my most nested part, and that's clearly something in here involving this resistor. 
But is this resistor in series or parallel with anything? Well, these two look to be in series, but I have that junction in the way. Maybe they're in parallel, but then I have that junction in the way. As it turns out, this is a circuit you cannot solve using this method. There simply is no series or parallel thing to reduce. When you see something like this, once again, you're going to have to use something more robust, Kirchhoff's laws. So these have been the basic steps for solving circuits. This technique allows you to reduce one resistor to an equivalent single resistor. Thank you.